from the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Following confirmation that a senior House staffer tested positive for COVID-19, Speaker Halson Mutri revealed that his protocol recommendations were ignored and refused by government, suggesting they were at fault for the situation at hand. In the House of Assembly this morning, Speaker Mutri hit out at government for failing to lead by example, saying the parliament, even as he spoke, was in breach of its own protocols. Further, he told members that since Tuesday, when that staffer's condition was made known, the House had not been sanitized and a staffer who may have come into contact with that senior staffer was made to come out of quarantine despite his desire to have all staffers isolate themselves. When his concerns were made known to Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis on Tuesday afternoon, Speaker Mutri said he received a one-word response, which was noted. He received no response from Leader of Government Business in the House of Assembly, Brentwood Wells. As a result, the Speaker abruptly adjourned the House of Assembly until May 3rd. Health Minister Renwood Wells said officials have petitioned the United States to give the Bahamas some of its Oxford AstraZeneca vaccines. His comment before a cabinet meeting yesterday came a day after U.S. President Joe Biden said America will share 60 million AstraZeneca vaccine doses with other countries. Mr. Wells said, quote, I'm not sure the Bahamas will be a part of the countries that will receive a donation, but I don't see why we would not be. I have long said that the Bahamas is one of five countries that sits on the borders of the United States. The US has already given AstraZeneca vaccines to Mexico and Canada. The only other three countries that sit on its borders are Cuba, Russia, and the Bahamas. He later added, I do anticipate now that the United States has made that announcement that we will have additional vaccines as well. All people over 18 became eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine on Monday. It is not clear how many more vaccines are available for first dose purposes. Second doses of the vaccine will be administered starting May 10th. A local infectious diseases expert is again urging Bahamians to not let their guards down and become relaxed with current health protocols, insisting that the country's fight with the novel coronavirus is far from over. Director of the National HIV AIDS and Infectious Disease Program at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Nakia Forbes' comments came after organizers of an event held over the weekend were cited nearly $100,000 for breaching COVID-19 orders. Several videos of the event were widely circulated on social media, showing hundreds of people people closely huddled together with many seen not wearing masks while partying. It also comes at a time when the country is seeing a major uptick in positive COVID-19 cases with the total infections at 10,283 after 63 new cases were recorded on Monday. Food safety officials are cautioning against the consumption of fresh conch after several suspected cases of conch poisoning. Several reports of conch poisoning made the rounds on social media over the past few days before the Bahamas Agricultural Health and Food Safety Authority issued a statement yesterday. The authority warned consumers to avoid fresh conch until officials are able to determine the source of the contamination. Health Minister Renwood Wells said there had been about 10 reported cases of conch poisoning. He said the ministry was concerned that it has risen in recent and days. He was unable yesterday to say where the cases originated. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, Federal agents today raided Rudy Giuliani's Manhattan home and office, seizing computers and cell phones in a major escalation of the Justice Department's investigation into the business dealings of former President Donald Trump's personal lawyer. Giuliani, the former New York City mayor, once celebrated for his leadership in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks, has been under federal scrutiny for several years over his ties to Ukraine. The dual searches sent the strongest signal yet that he could eventually face federal charges. Charges. India's death toll from COVID-19 has surpassed 200,000 as a virus surge sweeps the country, rooted in so-called super spreader events that were allowed to happen in the months after India thought it had the pandemic under control. Now India is enduring its darkest chapter yet, with mass funerals, burials and the collapse of its health system, compounded by shortages of oxygen, ventilators and hospital beds. Fueling the catastrophe were a series of crowded events, like mass rallies by politicians, such as Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. The combination of a weak mid-level trough and a high-pressure system centered just north of the area will support brisk winds and pockets of fast-moving showers across the country today. Beachgoers are still being advised to exercise caution due to the high risk of rip currents at East Coast beaches. For all areas, it'll be variable cloudiness, breezy and very warm, with a few passing showers this afternoon, mostly fair and mild, with the chance of 
of a few stray showers tonight. A small crafts caution remains in effect. A small crafts advisory will come into effect by tonight for the southeast Bahamas. Winds east to southeast at 15 to 20 knots across all areas this afternoon, but increasing 15 to 25 knots over open waters by tonight in the southeast Bahamas. Seas 4 to 7 feet across all areas this afternoon, but building up to 5 to 8 feet over the ocean by tonight in the southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 86 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 70. The sun will set this afternoon at 737 and will rise tomorrow morning at 635. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper now on the streets or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.